Hey guys, what's up? My name is Herla Kim and for those who are new, welcome to my channel. So today's video will be a long one because I will be comparing two hair devices again. Ta -da! This is the new Amika. I'm not sure if this is new, but I kind of like saw it and I picked it up and this is the High Tide Deep Waver. And I'm going to be comparing it to this really heavy box, the new dry bar the mixologist it comes with like three attachments but for this video i will be comparing it with this one which is the deep waver one it's kind of like very similar to each other so i'm so excited i have never tried these before because i usually just use my jc curve to curl my hair and i'm content with that but it is nice to see what other hair tools have to offer so i'll be comparing these two hair tools against each other so all right let's get into the details and functionality first Over the past couple months, I've seen a lot of people use, or even years, I've seen a lot of people use these type of barrels because instead of like just using one, you've got three. Look at that. One thing I like about it is that the buttons are away from my hand so I don't accidentally press on it when I'm actually using the tool, which is a plus for me. All right, and this is the Amica Deep Waver and sadly, I can't disconnect it. Or maybe I can, or maybe I can't. Oh yeah, so I can't disconnect this because this is the only attachment that comes with the box. It's pretty basic, there's no freebie, and it's pretty light. If I were to compare the barrels itself, Amika is so light. I just feel like this one is just kind of like borderline cheap. I mean, I'm sorry for the word, I'm sorry Amika, but it's just that like the plastic handle is just way too hollow there's nothing in there i just feel like it's really light but some people might prefer it but for me you know i wanted something heavy so i will be using the dry bar on my right side and also i just added my frizz control moisturizer serum i've as you guys can see i'm almost running out because this is really good so it's either i use this or the uh, bumble and bumble so yeah so i will be using that anyways let's quickly turn it on the highest temperature setting for this one will be 450 degrees Fahrenheit, so I will be setting it to that just to make sure because you know how my hair is really thick and sometimes there's a tendency for my hair to not really follow the groove. So just to make sure, I'm going to set it to the highest heat setting. Whoa, look at that. Okay, so I'm already impressed. So I kind of like left the last part to just make it to achieve that mermaid look. So I'm gonna go ahead and do the rest. So I usually take five seconds for each section just to make sure that the curls stay in place. So yeah, this is the final result. So I will be giving you my final thoughts once I'm done this side. So I will be using the Amika, so I'm so excited to get the same results from this side. But before anything else, TLC, heat protectant, cream. I have to turn it on first. Do you hear that sound? Why is it making a sound? Amika, what are you doing? So the highest temperature here would be 200 degrees Celsius, so there's no Fahrenheit. So the good thing about this tool though is that I could see that it heats up faster than the dry bar because the dry bar took a good two minutes, if I'm not mistaken. One to two minutes, well this one is just, oh, perfect. It's already to its highest heat setting. All right guys, so off the bat, I don't know if you can see that. There's smoke coming out and honestly, I can smell my hair burning. For the sake of this video, I'm gonna finish it, but this is, I'm already not liking the scent. So 
so you know what at this point i feel like um my hair is like medium well <laughs> if this was the steak i'm literally not kidding i can smell the smoke coming out and it's just like grilling hot so i'm done with both sides so this is the final look you guys so what do you guys think this is the dry bar i'm not sure why i did that but and this is the amika Ling, ling, ling. Oh, what happened to this? Ling, 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 ling. For my final thoughts off the bat, I really love the dry bar because it looks premium and it looks really nice and sleek. And you know, the curls are kind of like in place, but with the Mika, first I already didn't like the weight because it was way too light. And as soon as I turned it on or as soon as it reached 200 degrees Celsius, it was burning if you were to compare both sides already you'll see that the dry bar does have this like um the pearly white ceramic that they usually have for them but with amika it's just basically a barrel a metal barrel that i just feel like it's burning my hair and i'm i'm actually kind of worried about my hair but good thing that i have my heat protected but still the same i, I don't feel comfortable using that at all so i'm just going to be really honest with you right off the bat the clear winner for this competition or for this video or comparison video would be my would be dry bar besides the fact that the color is really extravagant and the weight is just really nice and heavy and you can feel it and the minimalist style of the buttons it performed really well as you guys can see the curls are intact and they are in place as compared to the amika one which has a lot of like loose hair if you guys can see that on the side i really don't like that i feel like if i go out with using this hair tool for amika no my hair is gonna look like a lion's mane for my final thoughts the pros in this one is that it performs really well and you know i kind of like the minimalist style of this hair tool and it does come with two other attachments and it does come with a pouch which i really like but the downside is that it's more in a higher price range, which is 263 Canadian dollars. Whereas the only pro that I can think of with Amika is that it's like cheaper, which is 165. But I feel like the $165 can't even justify the performance and the quality of this one. And that's it for today's video. Hope you guys enjoyed that one and hope that helped if you were thinking of getting the dry bar or the Amika. As always, you already know what to do. Like, comment, and subscribe and click on that notification bell to get updated on when I upload new videos. All right, have a good one and bye for now.